Welcome to City Line. It is wonderful to be in your home. This morning is October 10th, and I don't know where the time has gone, but we have a beautiful show ahead of us. Later on, we'll be talking with, of course, Tacoma Concert Band is here to talk about a moving tribute to a late composer, singer, and pianist. We'll tell you who he is and where you can get tickets coming up. And then let's talk about the director and main character are here from Tacoma Musical Playhouse, James and the Giant Peach, one of my favorite books. And they are here to talk about their upcoming performance. You don't want to miss this peachy segment. And of course, ghouls. Ghouls just want to have fun. It's time to get creative with the goodwill and all things Halloween. We've got some great costume ideas coming up that you can find at any one of your local fabulous goodwill stores. Now, let's get started with who's on that comfy couch. With me are some very special guests who are here with the Washington State Elks Free Children Therapy Program. Please join me in welcoming, first off, Becky Gibson. You are a therapy supervisor. Welcome to City Line. Thank you. And Lori Carter, you are known as Miss Lori, <laughs> um, and you are the occupational therapist of this program. Thank you for being here. You're a very busy woman. And then you two lovelies here, Hannah and Sam. And Hannah, you have the privilege of being the mom of Sam. And Sam, good morning. Good morning. It's so good to have you on the show. I have so loved talking with you. So let's, uh, let's get into it. So Becky, what is the history and mission of this program? So this is a really unique program. We started in 1954 and a little known secret about the Elks Therapy Program is that the organization had a, a, a boots on the ground uh, connection with Children's Hospital and helped them get their building established and started. And then the state, the National Elks asked the states to create a state major project. So our leadership went back to Children's Hospital and said, how can we be of better service to our community? And they suggested that we start a program that was statewide that would provide occupational or physical therapy services to children with special needs, birth to 21. And you did it. So what did are it. the needs of the children you serve? So they're varied and dependent on what challenges the child is experiencing as diagnosed by a, a physician or pediatrician. Mm -hmm. And once we have that information, then we provide the occupational or physical therapy services to the children. So they could have delays in their motor development. They could have uh, sensory challenges. Yeah. Um, lots of different types of diagnosis we've served through the years. Absolutely. Oh, my, my mother heart is melting right now. Mm -hmm. um, oh, who would have thought I mean, the Elks is a beautiful philanthropic organization, but even I didn't know until this week that the Elks provides this. So we're going to talk with, oh, there's some friends that we're helping right there. We want to make sure that we look at those because, as you said, there are various needs. Oh, who is this on the screen? This is Charlie. That's Charlie. Oh, Charlie, look at you. And who is with Charlie? That's Sarah, another one of our therapists. So we employ... 17 therapists across the state of Washington. Oh. Each of them has their own geographic area that they serve. Lori serves here in Pierce County. Ah, so you, Lori, you are our homegrown person right here, yes. aren't you? Lori, how long have you been working with Sam? About five years. Five years, okay. Yeah. Sam, you and I have had lots of great conversations, haven't we? You gotta use your words. This is this is what this is what we <coughs> both love. We love Dr. Seuss. We love Power Rangers. We love sour candy. I love sour candy. I love sour candy too. And if I had a magic wand 
and you could be anything you wanted for Halloween, what would it be? Uh, a Power Ranger. Power Ranger, I thought so. Put it there, buddy. Sam, how has Miss Lori helped you? Uh, she helped me with um, my uh, emotions. emotions are colors of emotions with different um, like moods in it. Um, and when we talked about it, um, she told um, me that if you are in the yellow zone, you can hop right to the red zone, which is um, all the z um, motions with like anger, um, upset. Um, but the good, the two good moods. Um, colors with motions in it is blue, which is like the sad, like sad, um, real, kind of like relaxed. Uh, and then the green is, um, honestly is the best mode to be in. Yes. And then she helps, um, I teach her how to, um, do projects. Oh, so you you help each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. <coughs> yeah. She taught you how to speak up for yourself? She taught uh, me how to speak up for myself and um, uh, to, like, to do what I mostly want. To advocate for that. To yourself. advocate for Advocate's myself. a big word. If you had to assign a color to how you feel right now, what would it be? Um, Maybe, maybe oh, blue, which also kind of has like shy in it. Yeah. Oh, I love that, <laughs> Sam. Oh, you have the best words. You are so brave, Sam. How old are you? I'm 11 years old. Oh my goodness. Well, let me tell you something. You're one of the smartest 11 year olds I've ever had on that couch. Okay, Sam. You get to snuggle up next to mom now because uh, I'm gonna talk with the grown-ups for a second, okay? Okay. So, Lori, how has the program changed over time? Well, we used to um, see kids, a lot of kids with polio, mm -hmm. and due to medical advances, uh, that is no longer a concern. Mm -hmm. um, but, and then we progressed on to seeing kiddos with like cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, um, and now it's progressed to we still see those kiddos, not as much, with cerebral palsy, again, due to medical advances. But we see cerebral palsy with autism, oh, with emotional yes. dysregulation. We see yes. Down syndrome with emotional dysregulation yeah. and with um, autism. So, Hannah, how has this program helped you as the mom of, this, of Sam the Great? It's helped me give him the best start that he possibly could. So it, it's helping him being able to control himself and to um, work through his emotions instead of just having a total meltdown and he's able to um, do what he needs. Besides that, Lori's been a big help to us and you know, we just, we support each other and that's Absolutely. pretty amazing. I've learned something sitting here today about those colors that I'm going to use <laughs> in my life. So Lori, how many free sessions can a child receive or how long do they get services? Well, there's multi-factors under that. So um, give me a, a, a quick little answer for our parents who are thinking, should I do this or not? So um, I am one person for all of Pierce County. All right. And well, lucky you. Yes, yes. A busy lady. And so I, um, I look at what other services they have. Um, do they have availability to clinics? Now, Sam lives way far away from a clinic, mm -hmm. so I'm going to provide services. So for, it's on an individual kind of tailor Yeah, basis. yeah, kind okay. of seeing, you know, what, what they have and right. what they don't have. We, we kind of fill the gap. So I'm going to move over to Becky here because I, you are incredible and I, <laughs> that heart you have. Becky, who do we need to thank? We need to thank the Elks members and everyone who's had a part in supporting this program for 70 years of service to our community. Absolutely. I want to thank all four of you and also the people we couldn't get on this couch for all of the 
beautiful co-parenting that you are doing here with this program. And Sam, promise me that when we get off the air, you'll go get a donut, okay? Okay. (laughs) We have much more to come on Sunny Line, but I have a question for you. What does chicken have to do with a cat? Hmm. Well, if you don't know, don't get your feathers ruffled. We'll explain coming up in our pet of the week. We have much more to come. Don't go away.